Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? Tanelli here. Today, talking about how to eliminate bad hops as an infielder. Um, if you watch Major League infielders field, you'll notice that very rarely do they get bad hops, right, or in between hops. Now, a lot of people will say, well, it's because they play on Major League fields and, you know, there's just the dirt's beautiful. I'll give it to you, they do play on great fields, but that's not the reason why they never get in between hops. You can take younger infielders and put them on gorgeous fields and they're still gonna get way, way more in between hops and bad hops than elite infielders. So let's talk about how you can eliminate or at least decrease the amount of bad hops or in between hops that you get as an infielder. It all has to do with your feet and how you use your feet. Right? A lot of people think that infielders have great hands. You always say, oh man, he's got smooth hands. He's got soft hands. He's a great infielder. He's got really great hands. True, infielders got really good hands. Good infielders got good hands. But it's the feet that make the huge difference and that's the separator. The great infielders, the elite infielders, they have elite feet. They dictate the hop. They choose which hop they're gonna field. They don't just field whatever hop is hit to them. So let's talk about how you can dictate the hop and choose the right hop and what hops you're trying to field okay as an infielder you can get three different types of hops you can get the long hop so long hop is where the ball hits way way out there way in front of me where i've got time to see that ball bounce it's coming up and i'm going to field the ball on the long hop right so i'm here ball hits way out there you know five six seven feet in front of me and i'm going to field the ball you know somewhere around here, but I'm gonna field that ball before it ever hits the ground again. That's the long hop. I can also field the short hop. So on the short hop, short hop is the one where the ball is gonna hit right before my glove. So let's push it back here a little bit more. So on the short hop, I'm gonna get down and field that thing and that ball is gonna hit and basically bounce, boom, right into my glove, okay? So there's no room for that ball to go anywhere, okay? The distance is so close that from here to here, nothing crazy can happen. Ball's gonna go in my glove a high percentage of the time. Those are the two hops we're trying to feel. We're trying to get the long hop where the ball's gonna bounce way out there, or we're trying to get the short hop where it's gonna bounce just a few inches in front of my glove. The one that you wanna stay away from, and the one that causes all the, the issues for infielders is the in-between hop. It's that ball that's not long, not short, but it's right in between. So it's gonna bounce there, and that's the one where I kind of get stuck on my heels, the ball comes up, it hits me in the chest, and I say, oh, bad hop right there. You know, hit a pebble on the infield dirt. That ball is very difficult to field no matter what field you play on. So if you play on a really good field, you're still gonna get in between hops if you don't use your feet the right way, and you're still gonna have a lot of issues playing back on your heels, balls coming up, hitting you in the chest. So the idea is you have to eliminate that hop. How do you eliminate it? You use your feet. So if the ball's coming and I notice as I'm attacking that ball that it's gonna be an in-between hop, it's gonna be basically that last bounce is gonna create an in-between hop for me. Well, I've gotta do two things. I've gotta step up quickly so that I can make it a short hop or I gear down, slow down so that I get a long hop or I maybe have to move back sometimes. If I'm a corner infielder, the ball's hit really hard, well then I might step back and create more distance so I can get a long hop. So it's all in my feet. I've got to step up, I've got to slow down to create the long hop, I've got to back up to create the long hop. If I'm moving to the ball and I notice, oh man, I'm gonna get in between here, I just can't sit here and just say, let me just pretend I'm a goalie and wear it off the chest. I've got to quickly step up slow down, back up, right? I've got to move someplace. The way you get good at that is by reps, by practicing it. So as an infielder, once you've taken thousands and thousands and thousands of ground balls, you start to realize the speed and tempo of the ball. You realize the way the ball is bouncing and you start to learn, okay, this is how the ball's eventually gonna to bounce to me. Ball's way out there and I'm reading the ball as I'm going and I'm picking out the hops. I'm saying, okay, let's get this hop, boom, I step up. All right, let's get this hop, I back up, I slow down. And now I create all really, really good hops for myself. Not gonna to totally eliminate bad hops and in-between hops, they're gonna happen. But you're not gonna get them fair, anywhere close to the amount of times you're gonna, if you just basically, the ball's hit, and you just approach it the same way every time, boom, and the ball, up oh, here comes in-between hop, close my eyes, let me take it off the chest. Right, not gonna happen. So you've gotta learn how to use your feet. 
A couple ways to do that. For one, as an infielder, when the ball's hit, I want to try to get to the right side of the ball as quickly as I can. If I get to the right side of the ball, now I'm on an angle watching that ball. I can see the amount of space in between the hops, and I can attack the ball that I want. If it's hit right at me, it's much more difficult to see the distance between the hops because I don't have an angle on it. And so once the ball's hit, I want to boom, get to the right of the ball so I can attack it. You know, we've talked about this a bunch. Getting to the right of the ball does a whole lot of things for you, but one of the things it does is lets you read the hops a little bit easier, okay? The other thing is in practice, practice counting the hops. All right, so when the ball's hit, count how many times it bounces. That kind of puts you in tune with the hop. So I'm at one, two, three, boom, I pick it on the third one, right? Sometimes I'll hit balls to guys and say, hey, we're gonna field it on the third hop every time. And so the infielders gotta learn how to use their feet. If it's bouncing one, two, I better go get this ball to get it on the third hop, right? If it's hit one, uh oh, it's getting close to me, I back up real quick, two, three, pick it. So just a way to get in tune with the hops and learn how to read them, which hop to pick, when to step up, when to back up, okay? So let me know if you have any questions on that. Hopefully this, uh, this helps you guys out. I'm telling you, the best in I've played with some of the best infielders in the world and they've got the best feet. Unbelievable feet, always moving, always picking out the right hop. Okay, so again, thank you guys. Leave a comment section below if you have any questions. Um, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Like the video, share with all your friends, give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. Uh, also check out our Instagram page, Antonelli Baseball, and our Twitter feed, Antonelli 9 where I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. Check out our website, AntonelliBaseball.com. Um, oh, I missed the order there. Check out the description box below where I've put links to a bunch of books I've been reading and also training tools that we use with all of our players uh, that I think you guys will like. Um, website AntonelliBaseball.com, learn how to work with us. And also uh, we just threw trial information up for our teams if you're interested in doing that and you're a local player. And that's all I got guys, thank you again so much. I appreciate it, I hope this helps all you infielders out and we'll talk to you later.